last five years, and I thought you would be interested in cruising, you know. March of 81 was particularly a good month for me. I seem to be on fire with knowledge. From his longtime residence in LA's Pacific Palisades to the cozy cottage he bought for his daughter, Martin Short has been known for his iconic roles like Ed Grimley and Jiminy Glick. And he's brought his humor and charm to Saturday Night Live, multiple TV shows, Broadway, and countless films. So let's get into his houses, which are just as interesting as he is. After studying at McMaster University as a pre med student, Martin caught the acting bug, and he made his professional debut alongside Eugene Levy and Gilda Radner in the 1972 Toronto production of Godspell. In 1977, Martin joined the Second City comedy troupe, unleashing fan favorites like Manic Ed Grimley. When Second City got its own TV show in the early 80s, Martin's quirky personas left audiences in stitches. He then sank his teeth into Saturday Night Live in 1984, breathing new life into the show with spot on impersonations. His career exploded from there with ghoulishly hilarious films like Three Amigos, Father of the Bride and more. Over the decades, Martin has proven that despite his short stature, his comedic talents and influence loom larger than life. After tragically losing his wife Nancy to cancer in 2010, Martin is a doting father to their three children, Catherine, Oliver, and Henry. He's spoken candidly about grieving Nancy's death in his touching memoir, I Must Say. Rather than let fame go to his head, Martin Short has called himself just a normal guy who found he could make people laugh. We adore his down-to-earth attitude and ever-present sense of humor. Where Clowney has brought some seriously smart comedy into the world. Martin Short calls the posh Pacific Palisades area of LA home. He lives in a gorgeous property here with his family, though details are scarce since he keeps his personal life very private. What we do know is that this luxurious mansion has plenty of amenities for Martin to enjoy his downtime away from the spotlight. I'm imagining lots of open airy spaces perfect for entertaining a home theater when he can watch his own classics and a backyard oasis with a pool where he could relax. Maybe even a personal golf green where he can practice his swing. Pacific Palisades offers spectacular ocean views so his backyard surely takes advantage of that. While the interiors remain a mystery, this estate likely is Martin's trademark charm and witty decor throughout. I bet there's a special tribute to his late wife Nancy, plenty of cozy spots to read scripts, and rooms decked out with memorabilia from his decades-long career. In 2014, Martin made a very sweet $1.1 million purchase, a Cape Cod style cottage tucked away in LA's legendary Beachwood Canyon as a home for his daughter. How thoughtful is that? This charming 1,836 square foot abode has three beds, 2.5 baths, and the perfect tranquil setting. Inside, there are refinished hardwood floors, canyon views, and patios ideal for his daughter to entertain her friends. With lush landscaping and a peaceful outdoor ambiance, this cottage is the perfect gift from a doting dad. Martin is clearly a family man at heart, and I just love that he bought this place to take care of his daughter. It's got that cozy, welcoming vibe that suits perfectly, thanks to details like the patios and the gardens. And the secluded location offers privacy and security. Well done, Martin. From his early days on SCTV to his current stand-up tours and talk show appearances, Martin Short's commitment to character work and live performing is unmatched. His fearless physicality and ability to squeeze laughs out of any moment are legendary. While Martin Short himself remains humble, his impact is undeniable. He paved the way for shorter, unconventional looking comedians to make it big based on sheer talent. He also showed how powerful it can be to draw on real life tragedy and channel it into joyful art. The iconic characters Martin Short has created over his 50 plus year career will live on eternally in the history of comedy. Ed Grimley's Calic, Jiminy Glick's vulgar sweater vests, Jackie Rogers Jr.'s albino flair, all parts of pop culture. That wraps up our tour of Martin Short's wonderful homes. Let me know in the comments which property is your favorite and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you wanna check out more celebrity homes, then stay tuned for this look into the properties of Jane Fonda. Bye.